back like we never left. SP here with a live reaction to The Boxer. This week, reading chapters 45 to 47, so let's see what's cracking. The Boxer, chapter 45, let's go. And of course, you see this fucking villain, this asshole, and of course, you know what'll happen if you call the police, right? You see, you got a knife right next to the homegirl Yam Yamaguchi, bruh. Tough. You see the blonde haired bully in the background who, who plotted this, bro, because his ego was hurt. It's crazy, bro. We read in, we just started the boxer, and then we're gonna read ORV after. Man, he feels bad about it too. Yamaguchi! And we just see this fucking guy, bro, in the hood. In the hood, anti hero. Crazy, bro. So we see Yuto pulls up to the scene instantly. He goes, hey, that was quick. It's fucking anti-hero asshole. Yuto, face shaded in darkness. He is not playing games. What do you want? Interesting. He probably ran here, but he doesn't look at all exhausted. This is going to be fun. This fucking guy. You're familiar with games, aren't you? You thought it was games? Yeah. So this is like a game for me. But the thing is, my opponents gotta be sh gotta be as strong as I am for the game to be fun. So I've been on a quest to find the strongest guys, but they were all so damn weak. It was right when I was about to give up that I heard about you. You told Takeda. Your name kept popping up. You're pretty famous. That's it? That's the reason you did this? And Yuto was pissed. Well, I heard about your character. So I knew you wouldn't take me seriously unless I did something like this. Isn't that right? And as he's talking, Yuto, ping, close the distance, boy. <laughs> close the distance instantly. Oh, damn. But Yuto throws a little jab, and the man just, like, kind of weaves that. The anti-hero just weaves that, John. Nice. He's pretty fast. So, how are you going to come at me? Are you going to use a broken rhythm or a feint? Oh, you're just using a good old straight. And the man, that's the way to do it. And he just weaves it again, bro. Weave. And bow. And damn, he actually hit Yuto though. He weaved it and boom. We see him hit Yuto right in the eyeball. And Yamaguchi goes, what? What's going on? Takeda? <laughs> and we see this fucking blondie, bro. No matter how strong Takeda is, he doesn't stand a chance against Kazu. In just one month, in just one month, Kazu single-handedly destroyed all the biker gangs in this area. Oh my god, by himself, Dolo with a smile on his face. A sick freak. He's on a whole nother level. We see Kazu over there fighting. Crazy. Something strange. He's incredibly fit, fast, and his movements are exact. But that's about it. That's all he has. And we see, obviously, he understands now that Yuto has no talent. He's fighting solely on physical, like, you know, ability and prowess. Yep. How can he be so talentless? He uses the same movements and combinations. <laughs> it's as if... I'm fighting against a game character someone programmed and he sees old boy in like 8-bit. I see. So this is what it looks like when you train someone with no talent to the extreme. I don't know who did it, but they did an incredible job with the worst raw material. I'm crying. Simple brute strength is the best way to go when, ag when up against average guys. No wonder he's known for being strong. But that makes a tactic too obvious. And as he said, as he's thinking this in his head, bow! Kazu cracks him 
right in his jaw. Boom! Hits him right in his nose. Yamaguchi there like, what? <laughs> I knew it. Even Takeda is no match for a real genius. That simplicity. His fighting strategy is simplicity itself. Biker gangs aren't only made up of nobodies. Some guys used to be pro boxers. He didn't use any fancy technique or strategy. He stuck his opponents with precision. Just once or twice was all it took to knock them out. He's simply a genius. Let me see. Of the fucking eyes looming under Kazu's fucking hood. <laughs> we see Takeda Yuto coughs up as Kazu goes in for another overhand punch. This is boring and just boom. Bink. Punches him right in his face. Bow. Yamaguchi there. Sitting there broken. <laughs> he looks on. W why? Huh? And we see, oh shit. And now he, I think he understands what you threw about. Nigga gets up. He goes, huh? You're so strong. And Yuto wobbles. So why? Are you wasting it on something so meaningless? Yuto screams at the top of his lungs at Kazu. Asking him, why the fuck you doing this, bro? Wasting all your talent on meaningless nonsense. Let me see. That man opened his eyes like, what? If you have that kind of power, you should use it on the behalf of others, not yourself. On behalf of others. <laughs> and you, Kazu just smiles. For what? This is way more fun. Let me see. Smash, wham, wham, smash, wham. Let me see a pounding. Let me see. Motherfucker, you told this gang, beat up. Get it in the shit kicked out of him. It was a one-sided pounding. We see blood on the knuckles. What remained was a swelling sense of superiority. And Yuto was just on the ground, boy. And that feeling of helplessness. Phew. Well, that was sort of fun. Unfortunately, most people live for themselves because they cannot distinguish between what has a value and what does not. And we see Yamaguchi just walking under the moonlight, boy. Goes to the crib, obviously going to his shithead fucking house with his shithead fucking drunk mother, bro. Oh my God, what the fuck? God damn it, she battered and bruised, bro. Oh, crazy. While still others must weather through a life like a battlefield. Yamaguchi gets back. It's just devastating, bro. And this man, you throw in the hospital, bro. He got beat up that bad. Sheesh. Mr. Takeda, you have a letter from a Mr. Yamaguchi. Oh, thank you. Dear Yuto, by the time you read this, I'll probably be on a boat. Something happened at home, so I have to quit money and I have to quit school and earn money. I sometimes no, I always wonder what would what it would feel if I was born a different person. I wonder if it would feel like I wonder what excuse me it would feel like to be born into a, to born into and grow up in a normal family. I had a hope that something might change this time if I really tried my best. But I guess it's just not meant to be. And we see this man on a ship just mopping the decks, bro, swabbing the decks, bro. Crazy. I guess I should have known my place. I thought I was already at rock bottom, but I might be wrong. New boy, stop dwaddling and mop faster. But I consider myself lucky to be able to meet a good person like you, even if the time we spent together was short. Get better soon. Be well. Bye. Let's see, thump. A metamorphosis, and this, oh shit. 
Is this what changes Uto, bro? Like the oh, hold on. We see boom. something dumps his heart dumps, boy, and we see a metamorphosis, and his eyes look at this shit, bro. And out the cocoon, boom. I must become stronger. Begins, and we see the in the cocoon. That John wiggling, boy, in the cocoon. Hold on. Hold on. God damn, boy. And we see Misa looking on that, that boy Yuto. But one day, the fucking lightning strikes, boy. That shit is fire. Raining. It's fucking pouring outside. Lightning crashes as Yuto comes in the door. In his soaked, like, hospital gown, bro. Crazy. Snuck out. One day. He came, he showed up in a hospital gown, soaking wet from the rain. Coach, I want to become stronger. I'll get stronger and stronger and prove that no matter how difficult your circumstances, no matter how big of an obstacle in your way, where there's a will, there's a way. And from that day on, everything changed. Oh, that shit is fire, bro. The fact that Yuto's metamorphosis and his blossoming into what he is today, a champion, came from his good friend being so down bad in his situation that he went on a boat to try and earn money and he had to abandon his life, bro. Because of, he was born into a bad situation. He felt like he couldn't escape what he was born into, bro. And that made Yuto be like, nigga, I have to prove that if you want it, you can make that shit happen. And that's fire. That's fire. Oh, that shit is hard. <laughs> Ugh, let me see. Faster! Bang! How are you going to win against him when you're this slow? We we'll see Misa, Misa, coaching man, Kazu Usugi. There isn't a boxing coach in this area who hasn't heard about him. God-given talent. A genius who will lead the future of Japanese boxing. It's obvious that Yuto doesn't stand a chance against him. But as long as he earnestly wishes for it, and as long as it's meaningful to him, all I can do is do my best to support him. Let me see. That's going to that's help him out, boy. Atta, boy. Faster. Let see you, though. Bang, bang, bang. Training. Hitting the pads. See, hitting the weight. Hitting the gym. Man. Ha. Ha. Hitting the gym. Pay attention, new boy. S -s -s Sorry, sir. Let me see the man on the, on the boat. Fishing. Doing all this other stuff. It's good, Akiji. Yeah, I seen you got Hilda. I seen that in, in the Discord, bro. That's, that's definitely a good get. I ain't gonna lie. We see Yuto. <laughs> running. And we see oh, the smash cuts between Yuto training and Yamaguchi on, this, on the ship. Just doing, like, de like busy work, like janitor work. He just cleaning shit up. It's tragic, bro. Man in the bathroom. Scrubbing the floor. Ah. And the man, you just sobbing. I'm just sobbing, bro. Yo, what up, Maple? It's cracking, bro. I've never had anyone come back before. Well, I'm not one to turn down a challenge. Oh, my God. And Yuto pulls up again. What the heck? You haven't improved one bit. Give up, man. You don't have any talent. You'll never beat me. Not in a million years. Never, Yuto says. I don't care if it takes a million years or even a billion years. I'll never give up. Not until I beat you. <laughs> sure. Whatever you say. Unsurprisingly, the rematch with Kazu ended in defeat. Coach, I don't think I can beat him like this. If you want to become stronger... You must pour your heart and soul into it. I want to quit school 
and focus only on boxing. And damn, Misa like looks at the boy and she's like, "Yo, what should I tell him?" She it yeah, it's tough. Should I take the realistic route and tell him there are other paths besides boxing? I wonder what you two would have told him. And when she thinks back to his mother and father, bruh. Tragic. Sorry, mijo. And Hirato. Hirato. Boxing's all I know. It's the only route I can take. Don't blame me too much. Whatever the result. Fine. If that's really what you wanted to do. You have my full support. So give it your best shot. Let me see. Support some full throttle, bruh. Only then will you have a fighting chance. Yes, coach. Let me see that boy, you throw ready. Man, does not, man, skip, quit school. Man, let his life in the gym. Medicine ball sit-ups. Ha, tap, 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 tap. See that boy, jump roping. Bow, 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 hitting the heavy bag, training, running. All this speed back, speed back, everything, all the training, boy, going going crazy. He poured his blood, sweat, and tears into training every day. He challenged Kazu back again and took a beating. Back at it again. Medicine ball sit-ups. Jump rope, heavy bag, 10-kilometer run, speed bag, shadow boxing. We see sparring, all this, push-ups, squat jumps, hang, hanging sit-ups, everything. Man, he's training hard, day and night. He challenged Kazu again. Hopefully, you approved some this time and took another beating. Pow! We see the man, Yuto, hit the deck. Thump. Again, same thing, routine. Speed bag, everything, shadow boxing. More weight. Oh, we see him, but now we see him adding. Every time he gets beat, he's adding more things now. Now we see him lifting weights, lap pull down, um, plated plated leg press, hitting the bags, heavy bag, pulling the tires up the hill. He's just adding more training day and night. Can you give up already? This is starting to get annoying. He challenged Kazu again and took another beating. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see Yamaguchi sobbing, just crying, bro. He's just so dead. He is so depressed. It's just so heartbreaking. He's so depressed on this ship. And everyone's like, for crying out loud. I'm trying to get some sleep here. Don't give up. Throw him in the ocean if he keeps it up. Oh my god, no. Let me see Bound. I won't ever give up either. And we see he's talking to that boy Yamaguchi through the timeline, bro. He's like, hey, Yamaguchi, boy, don't give up, fam. I won't either. We're going to get through this. The, mon the, the montage, training, training, training day and night. Many seasons passed. And about when he reached a point when it was difficult to, town to count how many times he tried and lost. Oh, shit. Let's see. Boom! Hits the bag. Oh, it was a dream. Time to go train. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! So we see he gets a punch. Boom! And we see he knocks Misa's hand all the way back. Bow! She goes, and her eyes open. She said, what? Is this a dream, too? I can't tell. Pow! Huh? What's a dream? What's a dream? And what's reality? Wait. This man is so delirious, bro. <laughs> from training day and night and getting so many... Through so many brain cells from getting beat up from Kazu, bro. He don't even know what's reality now, bro. Yuto. It doesn't matter. I just need to move. Bow. The way the coach has taught me. Bow. It can be done his growth peak and we see her eyes like this nigga eyes opened 
he's exceeded it and we see the man like his eyes look deranged bro from he's del he's delirious bro he's exceeded it boom oh shit and we see the cocoon <laughs> begins to crack we see the last fight with kazu we see a a wind passed by kazu's face man goes huh huh it's a little different from before. Boom. Mm, but we see it. He got, he got beat. But he he even he says like, hey, that was a little different than the last time we fought, bro. What the what the heck happened? Wow. I'm actually a bit surprised this time. So you really can improve if you try. No matter how talentless you are. <laughs> We'll see that boy, that boy Yuto just on the ground mumbling. Amazing. I'll be looking forward to our next match then. Yuto Takeda did not respond. Oh shit. And that man is just like, again, delirious, bro. His eyes are like forever have this like shading, like TV static esque like effect, bro. And he's mumbling what could have happened in the fight. He's just mumbling to himself. The timing of the uppercut was off. My punches have to be sharper. I should weave at that timing and need to step in more boldly. Yeah, we see the butterfly begins to break out the cocoon, boy. The winds of change had begun to blow. Oh, he's gotten pretty sharp. And no one could undo or stop the change that had begun. Pow! And we see that man, what? Kazu looking shook now. Why you little? And you see, the man just mumbling to himself, bro. He's obsessed. Mumbling to himself, bro, obsessed. Yamaguchi. Oh no. Do not, bro. Don't tell me, Yamaguchi, bro. Please, bro. We see Yamaguchi. This man, as as Yuto's about to make the breakthrough, bruh, he's on the verge of the breakthrough. Yamaguchi can't put up with it, bruh. We see him on the boat. He's standing on the railing, bruh. Hands at his side. He just goes, let's end it. Looking out at the ocean, bruh. Don't do it, Yamaguchi. Don't. I've lost all hope. I have no reason to live. I want to be at peace now and on the third year you bastard you see shh we see misa shaking as she's watching yuto bro oh my god the motherfucking grow his fucking growth chart went crazy though the growth chart <laughs> after all the dizzying effects Countless defeats and frustration. Ah! And we see, we see, we finally see it. Right hook. Boom! Hits him right in the face. Flips that boy Kazu. Boom! Hits the deck. Yamaguchi. Oh. Tell me he sees the sunrise and then he thinks of Yuto. This fucking, yo, the fucking writer is fucking cooking. When I tell you, if this happens, that man's pen was on fire. <laughs> Could we see? The, it was dark. We see the light pop up. Yamaguchi opened his eyes. He thinks of the sunrise he saw with that boy Yuto. He sees it again. He's standing on the railing. Don't forget, bro. He sees the sunrise, bro. Again, the sun over the horizon, bro. The fucking author was cooking, bro. The sunrise over the, over the ocean, beautiful in the horizon. Yamaguchi stands there. And we see as it happens, fucking Kazu on the ground, eyes open, as he's taken his first defeat to a man he defeated over and over and over and over again. Come on, bro. A Superman was born. Oh, and we see that boy Yuta standing tall, bro. Yuto standing tall, a glimmer in his eye. That man is vicious. Q, 
What is boxing to you? To me, boxing is proof. Proof that no matter how difficult your circumstances are, no matter how deep in sorrow or pain you face, you should never give up because there's always hope. Through boxing, I'm going to prove that there's always hope. God damn, boy, your author was a fucking cooking bro cooking with that chapter bro oh my god yo <laughs> dude that chapter was so good bro yo bookmark that chapter bro 46 of fucking the boxer that shit was so good hello to all boxing fans around the world it's finally the day we've all been waiting for. It's the day the Junior Welterweight World Title match. Yuto Takeda vs. Yu. Hello there. And as always, I have Bob Norris here with me as my co-commentator. Has there ever been a boxer like this in the history of boxing? No. The question will, will there ever be another boxer like this? Whoa! Yeah! It's the boxer with never before seen a talent. Lightweight world champion, you! <sighs> See everyone fucking cheering for that boy, the champion. Despite being the challenger, you overpowers the stadium with his aura. He didn't let the invincible champion, Jean Pierre, get a single punch. Get in a single punch during their title match. Will he will he just as easily take the junior welterweight title? Yuto Takeda enters the ring as we speak. Today, he is called the strongest in fighter there is. But Takeda has walked a tough road to earn the name, unlike you. He has been knocked down only to get back up again and over and over again in the division, which has been unusually high num number of the strongest boxers. But in the end, he conquered the junior welterweight division. You could say his boxing story is of hope and triumph. Can you protect his title? Can he protect his title against his strongest opponent yet? And we see that boy Oh my god, the fucking eyes, bro. The dead eyes from you are spooky, bro. Come on, bro. The dead eyes are just crazy. Mom, it's about to start. You want to see that boy? Ooh. Yuto, there. It's the epitome of natural talent. Verse the epitome of hard work. Do what do you predict will happen, Bob? The key point is to focus on the game. On the key point to focus on in this game is simple. How many rounds Takeda can last? By that, do you mean you think you will dominate the bout and win? No. It's true that there's a, there's a high chance you could win. Because his boxing is out of this world. But if Takeda can last past the second half of the match, he has a chance. Okay, remember our game plan, right? Yes, coach! Dum dum. Dum dum. Yuta's heart pounding. Don't be scared. Even if I get knocked down, I'll get back up and, and fight to the end. Oh my god. Why do, oh my gosh. I'll prove there's always hope. And you, just looking at him in, with dead eyes, bro. And we see him looking on, hoping and praying. Clenches his fists. Box! Oh my God, and immediately, as soon as the bell rings, ding! You, uh, you throw. Immediately speed blitz right towards you. Oh shit, bruh. 
Oh shit, bruh. We see, boom, we see a quick little jab from that man you, but you told Loki weave that joint. He might have got hit on the shoulder, but weave that joint. He's still moving in. Takeda closes in fiercely from the start. And you looks down. Yuto goes in for a hit. Oh shit. Oh, we see a little back step from you. And then he lands, tries to land a jab. But in retaliation, we see that boy Yuto weave that John and still try to get close. Attaboy. Put the pressure on him for all 12 rounds. It's the most worrisome is, is that punch right there. You saw his bouts against Jean-Pierre and Elliot. With your current skills, there's no way to avoid, much as counter it. So then, what do you think you should do? Is keeping my guard up my only option? That's not the type of, that's not the type of punch you can block. The guard will be a last resort. The answer is distance. Because he needs some distance to get into position to deliver it, keep him close for the entire fight. Don't let him find the timing and don't let him get an inch away from you. With your stamina, you can pull it off. Keep closing the gap. If you can last until the final round, we might, we might just stand the chance. Oh shit! God damn! Hold on, and we see same thing. You, you keeps like taking a little back step and jabbing, and then Takeda keeps closing the distance. Weave close distance. He's trying to stay close, bro. <laughs> With his freakish talent, he ended almost every match near the beginning of the first round. His longest bout was 11 seconds into the second round. Not once has he experienced a, pro, a protracted bout. Even if it seems like he's in a different dimension, it's meaningless if his body won't cooperate. Just hold out until he gets tired. <laughs> I knew that's what he'd do. Watch closely. That's the guy you're up against. And obviously, Coach K is showing you now Takeda footage. Obviously, it's not, they got their own plan, but obviously we know that you and Coach K obviously probably already talked about this, that they will try and run his stamina down by being close, all this kind of stuff, bro. You know what I mean? This is the guy you're up against. You told Takeda, the strongest of the junior welterweight division. Do you understand what type of boxer he is? First, he's got muscles like a suit of armor that helps him resist blows. I have never seen a physique like his that could be obtained simply from hard work at training. Obviously, his muscles aren't only there to protect him. They also give him explosive re reflexes, following up with a lightning speed swift of his shift of his weight. Bang! He's every outboxer's worst nightmare. He and he's relentless. It doesn't matter how many times he's knocked down, he'll get right back up. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to call him the strongest infighter there is, but his biggest weapon is his unbelievable stamina. And once you see shot footage of, the, of Yuto, but bing, 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 just beating that boy up, beating him up, punching him right in his face, right on his ribs, stomach, face, Chin. Oh, bro, man, the relentless, bro. Is he even human? From the starting to finish, it was blow after blow in that match. Takeda didn't stop for a second. Ding, 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 ding. Based on that human, superhuman stamina of his, I know he's going to, he's going to be on you like white on rice. So. What are you gonna do? I guess I'll hit him before he can get close enough. <laughs> and we just see K smiles. <laughs> no, that's not the way I do things. Oh my God. Don't tell me you's gonna be in fighting in there with you. 
Oh my god, Kay's a sick freak. <laughs> Coach K is absolutely a sick freak, bro. Do not tell me. Could we see? Yuto, eyes open, shocked. Misa looks stressed. K smirks. And we see what what's he doing? In an infighting stance. Oh my god. And we see them face to face with the in oh my god. K is a sick freak, bro. Obviously. They're like, oh yeah, he's the strongest infighter. We can say that. They keep calling Yuto the strongest infighter. What's K do? Bet. We're gonna beat him at his own game. He's a sick freak. A sick freak. Show him what real talent is. Huh? What's going on? You switched to an infighter stance. Don't overthink it. I just have to do what I know best. I just need to keep pushing ahead like I practiced. And oh my god, before before you could even land a punch, boom! Right in his jaw, he gets clipped. Huh? Uh, huh? And Cage smiles. Again, Yuto goes land the punch. Boom! A little, another right, little, little calm hook, right from that boy Yu. Yuto is dazed, dazed and confused, bro. Hold on. Bam! Yeah, there's no doubt about it. He's copying my movements to a T, and we see them. Just both doing the same bob and weave, bro. Bam! Bang! One hook to the right. Boom! Uppercut. Boom! To K to taking all these punches. K just smirking. A sick freak. I spent my entire life mastering these movements. And he's doing them faster. And with more precision. And we see Yuto there just depressed. I impossible it was crystal clear black and white i'd never see i'd never been more sure of anything in my life i knew that no matter what i did or how hard i tried i'd never be able to beat him Are you all seeing this? I can't even begin to explain it. I'm seeing it, but I'm having a hard time believing. Yes, plunder with all which is theirs and trample them beneath their feet. That's what it means to be alive. And we see Yuto just fucking dejected, bro, as he fights this man in the, just the cold stare of this man you as he fights him. And the chapter ends. The Boxer, chapter 47, end. Oh my god, bro. Oh, K is a sick freak, man. Coach K is absolutely a sick freak. For him to just set this all up, bro, and be like, yeah, bro, we're going to beat him at his own game, copy his movements, and it's over. Coach K is a sick freak, man. It's, it's, it's looking grim for that boy. It's looking grim for that boy Takeda, bro. But we like, we should have known. We got a full on like four chapter backstory, bro. We should have known he was going to get clipped up. But I thought he was going to at least have like a chance. At least show some kind of life in the fight, bro. Nothing. At least Jean-Pierre showed some life in the fight, bro. Hopefully, next chapter, Yuto shows some life, bro. Like, he's just down bad right now. It's crazy. Crazy, bro. Absolutely wild, bro. But, yeah, the end of this fight is going to be it's gonna be cool to see, bro. If it's just going to be you still steamrolling Yuto, or if he somehow, you know, based on his character is able to like last past the second round who no fucking knows bro 
But it's not looking good for that boy, Yuto. Crazy. Anyway, if you made it to the end of the live reaction, I appreciate that so much. If you enjoyed, don't forget, drop a like in the video. It really helps the boy out. Also, subscribe to the channel. We're bringing different live reactions weekly, and we're on the road to 1K. So I'm going to see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets, and I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.